YouTube. Once again, this is Chris over at SkyTech Enterprise Solutions. And today we want to take a brief but informative look at um, scheduling your uh, Splunk certification exam. Um, we will take this video all the way to the point where you actually log in to, to, to register for your exam. Um, we will not go beyond that, but we'll give you the requirements, right? What it takes to actually go ahead, create a, an account on Splunk.com, um, request your Splunk ID, and also be able to log into Pearson View and actually register for your test. Let's get into it. So as you can see, I have my Pearson View page here and you know, you can Google Pearson View, one word, or you can type in home.pearsonview.com, okay? And again, this is Pearson View here. This is how it's spelled, uh, right? But it's one word all together. Um, so it's home.pearsonview.com, or you can simply type in pearsonview.com, one word, and it'll, it'll uh, bring you to this page. So once you get to the home page, you the first thing you want to do is to click on take a test. Click on this link right here. Okay. Once you get to this page, uh, the first thing you want to do is scroll all the way down here to schedule your exam. Once you're here, you have this A to Z or A to Z program list. All right, and so these are basically the names of the program, the first letters of the names of the program. So here we're looking for Splunk. We get this nice drop down here, it could be jQuery or something else. And we zoom in right directly to Splunk. Okay. All right, and here uh, we basically get to this, you know, COVID test um, notification here. We also get this one that says, as of February 28, 2022, the cost of a Splunk cert exam is $130 per registration. So, yep, there you go, 130, very, very affordable. The five bundle price, the five exam bundle price will remain $500. So I'm sure you, you're um, getting a discount there. Okay. And going all the way down here, we'll see the uh, cancellation policy. And this is really, really important here. You must contact a Pearson View. You must contact Pearson View or access your uh, Pearson View account online to cancel your exam a minimum of 48 hours prior to your appointment. Exams cannot be canceled less than 48 hours prior. Failure to cancel in time or failure to appear for your appointment will result, result in the forfeiture of your exam fee. So this is really important. Um, I've heard stories of folks, you know, wanting to change the exam last minute, exam date, reschedule, whatnot. If you're within those 48 hours, um, it's going to be a total loss. They, they will not refund your exam fee and you will not be able to reschedule, I believe. Um, which means you just have to pay another hundred and thirty dollars to buy another exam. Um, so try to try to be mindful of that. I've heard instances where you can re, um, you can use the same uh, voucher for something else, but I'm not really sure. But just going by this text here, just make sure you stay within your forty eight hours. But luckily, you know, frankly, one hundred and thirty dollars is not too much if you got it. Because I know of exams that are actually five hundred dollars and eight hundred dollars, and if you miss that up, uh, if you miss the time on that, you're you're uh, unless you have the money, I think that's not a great idea. So here, um, let's see here. There's another. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so there's the exam retake policy. You know, it's pretty elaborate, but I wouldn't get into that. So the first thing you want to do when you get to this, well, not the first, we've, we've already done other things. So the thing you want to do here, I mean, they have options, find a test center um, to, you know, based on your location, you know, you can type in whatever your city is and you'll find a test center. Okay. 
test accommodations. Um, here they have options um, if you need that, uh, that kind of support. Okay. All right, let's click on the sign in uh, button here. Okay. So here you're going to have to, if you have, if you already have a an account on here, right, on PearsonView.com, then you are a returning user. So you just plop your username and password in here. Voila, you're in. If you forgot your username and password, you can use these links. If you don't have an account, if you've never created a, an account on Pearson View, you'll have to create a web account. Okay. So let's pretend we, we've never uh, created an account. Now you're going to have to give your first name and your last name and your Splunk ID. So what is a Splunk ID? Splunk ID is a unique, well, this is a unique Splunk ID provided by Splunk that is located in your online profile and communications regarding appointment confirmations, cancellations, or reschedule. So this here, Basically, you have to go into Splunk.com, and it's quite interesting. They, you know, they don't really spell it out here. You have to go into Splunk.com, create a profile on Splunk.com, in order to get your ID. Guys, it's quite a process, so make sure if you're going on this journey, if you're interested in Splunk and finally taking the exam, you need to go ahead and create your Pearson View account, your login account, and then go on to Splunk.com and create your Splunk account, okay? Because it takes a while. Once you request a Splunk ID, it's not instant. It takes a couple of days before you, you receive your Splunk ID. So there it is. You can go ahead and um, watch this video again if you need to, but it's really, really important that you create your Pearson View account as well as your Splunk.com account. Work out your uh, Splunk ID. Make sure you have that way ahead of time before you even get into the mindset of scheduling your test. All right, guys, I will get some more information regarding these certifications and I will see you in the next video.